the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, Yo. you got one more for me this week, huh? I'm on top of things, Damn man. Uh, um, and this one hits close to home. Um, I am a avid Xbox user. You a gamer? I'm a gamer. A player? You know, I have a I have a PC, pretty powerful. I hardly play games on it, but when I do, I do. It was super powerful a bit a minute ago. Yeah, I love my console. I have two Xboxes. Jonas has an Xbox. I do. Microsoft laid off another 650 employees. Didn't they already lay off like 1,900 or something yeah, already so or something? A few months ago, they laid off 1,900 employees, including uh, a good portion of the Blizzard staff, who was one of their new um, purchases. They purchased Blizzard Activision. Yeah, for, for uh, like $20 billion. Yeah, it was, it was stupid. Freaking billions of dollars. Either way, they bought them, laid off. 650 more people let go now a lot of them were let go from the blizzard activision sector which is under i mean a lot of times if there's an acquisition that's what happens and that is what happens but it's getting a little bit egregious when you've laid off 2500 people in the last like three months yeah. You know what's really interesting about layoffs is like obviously like it's a morale killer for the company because like people are losing their jobs it, like and yeah. of course, it's like, oh, it's cost cutting because they like, owed it to the shareholders. Their margins I, are up. I get bro. it. Their margins are up. Oh, yeah. But here's the thing. Like, Everybody else just about? has to do more work now. So the employees that still have their jobs, not only they worry they're going to lose their job, they're doing more goddamn work now. And what does that do to the product? Makes it worse. Brings morale down. People don't want to make the games. People make do shitty work product. Like, man, it's. And, and I'm not necessarily saying is that I know behind, you know, behind the scenes what's going on or what they have in store for their shareholders or whether, which is obviously their primary focus. But when I see, you know, certain games that I love receiving this treatment and I, you know, I see the impact that it's having on certain communities, it, 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 does, it puts a little, a little something in my britches. It does. A little something. Whoa. Wait. It does. So it's like, what do I do? Do I move over to the PlayStation 5? <laughs> Do oh, I wait. move over to the PlayStation 5? So, man, Eesh. you know what I uh you know what I love about this? Yeah. Most expensive game console ever put out. It is. And then Which is crazy because but, if you think 3DO back in the day, that shit was like It was crazy. like 300 bucks. Yeah. You thought that was But you know, at least you can still play your disc games, right? Jonas, it doesn't have a disc wait. drive. In this new version. Wait, so it's seven hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and I can't put the disc I own inside it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there mm -hmm. any way for me to put my disc in it? Yes, you have to buy a peripheral. Um, I believe the peripheral is like sixty bucks or so. I don't know. The I think it's a hundred. It's a hundred dollars. Okay, it's a so, hundred dollar peripheral. So you have to have an external disc drive. Yes, which looks really good on your on yes. your uh, on your electronic shelf. I mean, you know. Like they, so, you remember the HD DVD drives you used to plug into your Xbox? Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> you, you see those anymore? Yeah, yeah everybody yeah, has one. Yeah. So they're trying to go to a digital format, man. But here's the thing that's wild. Yeah, people own PS5 discs. Oh, you're saying is that you can't sell or trade your discs? Well, anymore. what I'm saying is people own discs. Yeah, if, yeah. If they, then you want them to upgrade. And not be able to play something they already own unless they pay another hundred dollars. Yeah, that's true. Like I could see, hey, PS6 discless, taking the price up to a grand total of eight hundred dollars, mind you, eight hundred dollars American to play something you already own. Mm. That really, what's what's higher resolution? Like what what so what is do, the benefit of the pro? So you do get a better graphics. You get a uh, okay. ray. You get ray tracing, which most people don't even have a TV to support. Amen to that, brother. That's a good point. I'm glad you said that. Um, so you get ray tracing. You get the equivalent to uh, the equivalent equivalent to like a 4070 um, processor or uh, like okay. a card. The games worked on the other one, right? Um, what's that? The games worked on the other process. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, wasn't did, a 4070. Yes, yeah, okay. they did. Just but you get, sure. you're going to get a better quality, essentially. So your loading times are going to get cut down a little bit. Yeah, the game quality is going to be your uh, your FPS. And so I, I actually watched a, a like a long form interview with a guy who was discussing the under the hood of this thing, and he said like the cheapest 4070 that you're going to find is about five hundred dollars. So if you decided you wanted to build a gaming PC with the same under the hood. 
uh, configuration that this thing had, it's going to cost you a little bit over. But PCs always cost a little well, bit right. over. Right, 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 right. Like, for what you're getting based on retail value, yeah. it actually is a deal. Yes. But what I will say is that if you already own a PlayStation, I don't really see why you would go to this one. And this one being, especially at this price point. Uh, he, I, I saw this interview with the guy and he says like the console community is a somewhat cannibalistic. The only people that buy consoles are people that already own consoles. They're not really bringing too many new people into the fold unless they're being like born and brought up in a console household. Right, like if you're like a kid and like your parents are buying you your first yeah. console, like. But they're not poaching anybody from the PC community. No, if you're you're if you're a PC person, you are a PC yeah, person. Yeah, and rightfully so, you should be. It is right, superior yeah. it, in it, like it, almost it every way. It definitely is. Yeah. So it's like. This price point doesn't really make sense to the community of people that they make the product for. And especially when they're not getting any, like, they're not really doing anything different. So, I don't know. It's all the same, man. PlayStation can only play PlayStation games. They don't even release their games on PC until, years like, later. years later. And they aren't even backwards compatible to play your old PlayStation games. Yeah, whereas if you have an Xbox and you have the Game Pass... I can play games that I own on Xbox on my PC. Right. And vice versa. Yeah, as long as they're supported on Xbox. Because like the games biggest that are... limiting factor to having a like a PC handheld where I could just play my Xbox games and my PC games on one thing is Windows. Windows is hard to navigate around. The Steam Deck is probably like the closest thing out there, but I hear that's pretty good. I hear it's pretty good, too. Yeah, like, especially, like, now it's been out for a while, like, mm -hmm. when they start coming out with, like, the Steam Deck 2. Yeah, the iterations. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. because I think the biggest thing was, like, battery life. You need to be able to, because, mm. like, it doesn't last long. But you can play almost anything from a PC on it, which is really impressive for a handheld. It is. You know, and yeah. you get good graphics and, like, whatever. I would be more apt to buy a Steam Deck than anything because and, like yeah. at least it's portable. Yeah. And you can, like, watch movies on it. You can, like, play games on it. You can, like... You can do a lot of stuff, and it's what it's only like. It was what's the Steam Deck like four hundred bucks or something? Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's that not too expensive. I'm actually see, so I'm telling you the truth. But so it, it's it's just crazy is that we are to a point in time where it used to be is like PlayStation. You come here because we have the best exclusives. To now, it's PlayStation. All we have is exclusives. Game Pass kind of did change the game. When I can go back and forth or a PC user can go back and forth, that actually incentivizes a PC user to purchase a console. Because right. it could be like, oh, I can play my I can play my console games on my PC. So if I have a console here, it's easier, it's compact. They're relatively inexpensive now yeah. versus the $700 monstrosity that can only play your exclusives and half the time I can't play them on PC while I'm already playing PC. I don't need that. Right, you know? I'll wait a couple years and yeah. play it or whatever. Like yeah. it's not, but I mean, Sony does have some good exclusives. It does, but that's all it has at this point. Where versatility, I feel like, is always going to beat out exclusivity. Oh yeah, absolutely. because if you make it easier for people to use, more people are going to use it. If you make it better for people to use, then only a certain subset of people are going to use it who are privy to the knowledge right. that it's well, even well, good. Well, and here's the thing: they're not coming out with any new groundbreaking games. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they used to be like, oh, my God, did you guys see what Halo is? Or call it, like, new mm -hmm. games that are just, like, out of this world, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you know? And, yeah, you're like, oh, it's another shooter. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's another GTA clone. Oh, it's another, you know what I mean? Like, nothing is, like, a new style. Of, if they came out with a new style of game that caught on and, like, was exclusive it might drive people to their system but they're like exclusive. their exclusives do well though like yeah, I mean, they're god of war they're pretty... alan wake they're horizon zero dawn they have really good exclusives that i would love to play but i'm not dying if and you're I a don't. hardcore gamer yeah i'm not dying if i don't play them <laughs> you know there's enough game now it's saturated yeah like back in the day when like ps2 and p and xbox were out mm -hmm. there you only in, in and you had a pc back then too there was only like a handful of really good games mm -hmm. now there's hundreds of really good games and hundreds of good games that you just haven't played yet but they still hold up like it's like yeah. you can go back and play the spider-man one game for sony it's still gonna be a bomb ass game yeah you know what i mean like yeah it's not the newest game yeah so if all i gotta do is wait to get on a hand on to those hot games i'll wait and that's what most of the people are doing so they're not poaching anybody from xbox they're not poaching anybody from the pc community 
Uh, you might get some people from Nintendo, I guess. You have your fan base, and that's all. So, yeah, Steam it used Deck, to be there were exclusive guys. Now it's they're only exclusive guys. Steam Deck is five hundred bucks, and they have like an o, uh, it's five twelve gigs, and they have an OLED version with a terabyte that's seven, like seven fifty. Mm, okay. So you not know, bad, not but, bad. You know, yeah, and there's options. Up. And yeah. that that's portable. And then they have like, and they actually have. Looks like Walmart has a kit that comes with like a, a keyboard and stuff that can hook into it, so you can like uh, still use your keyboard and mouse if you want to. Are you getting one? Maybe in the future, not now. Okay. okay. Like I would probably get that over a Switch, but when like the Switch Two comes out, I probably will buy a Switch One because it'll be cheap. Okay. Just because it's great for traveling. Like I could get games like that I don't need to play all the time that I could just play when I travel yeah. or if I'm going somewhere or something uh -huh. like that. Like. Okay. I know, but, what to, I know what to get this guy for Christmas. <laughs> An old used Switch. New but don't give me one of them BS ones that you can't take the controllers no, off I'm, of. No, I was just going to get you socks. Oh, the hey. The fuck are you, talk so, what are you talking about? Anyways, <laughs> that's, uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecreasetown.com <laughs> for Jonas. You? TNT. All right, we out.